Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have x to the power of 3 plus x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. So now what we're first going to do is we're going to focus on our left side here. And we're going to simplify this a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide this into two parts. We have x to the power of 3 plus x squared and x plus 1 on our right side. So for x to the power of 3 plus x squared, what we're going to do is we're going to factor out our greatest common factor, which in this case is x squared. So if we factor out x squared from x squared x to the power of 3 plus x squared, well, x to the power of 3 divided by x squared, what is that? Well, if we have a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of 3 over x squared, this would equal x to the power of 3 minus 2, which is simply just x to the power of 1, which is x. So x to the power of 3 divided by x to the power of 2 is x plus x squared divided by x squared is simply just 1 because anything divided by itself is 1. And now on this side, we have plus. And as you can see, since we already have x plus 1 here, we don't need to do anything. This, this side can't be simplified. And this is equal to 0. So now this would actually give us two equations. Because x plus 1, this is x plus 1 times 1, right? So now these two are the same. So that's one equation, x plus 1 equals 0. And then we have this plus this, x squared plus 1. So that's another equation x squared plus 1 equals 0. So for x plus 1 equals 0, all we have to do is simply subtract 1 on both sides. This cancels out, and we get x equals negative 1. So this is one of our solutions. Now for x squared plus 1, well, we still subtract 1 on both sides. These two cancel out, and we get x squared equals negative 1. Now if we take the square root on both sides, we get x equals the square root of negative 1. And the square root of negative 1 is actually equal to i. So i is also a solution. So our two solutions are x equals negative 1 and x equals i. The Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n equals 2016. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to set m equal to n plus k, k being a constant. Now, if this is true, then we also know that n is equal to m minus k. And k is a constant. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace m with n plus k. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of n plus k minus 2 to the power of n equals 2016. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of n plus m, 
This can also be written as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So 2 to the power of n plus k, this can be written as 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k. And we are still subtracting this with 2 to the power of n, and this is equal to 2016. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rewrite 2016 as 2 to the power of 5 times 63. And this is still equal to what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out 2 to the power of n from this. So if I factor out 2 to the power of n, I get 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k divided by 2 to the power of n is simply 2 to the power of k. And 2 to the power of n divided by 2 to the power of n is 1, so minus 1. So we get 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k minus 1. And this is still equal to 2 to the power of 5 times 63. Now, as you can see, this is even. So I'm writing E for even. This is going to be odd. I'm going to write an O for odd. And this is odd because we're going to subtract 1 from the 2 to the power of k. This is 2 to the power of n. So any number that you plug in, this would be even because it's 2 to the power of something. And 2 is an even number. However, we're still going to subtract 1. So this is actually going to be odd. And now from this, remember, this is even. 2 to the power of anything will result in an even number, and 63 is odd. So I'm writing O for odd. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the evens equal to each other. So 2 to the power of n equals 2 to the power of 5. And because these two have the same bases, because these two have the same bases, we know that the exponents are equal to each other, meaning n is equal to 5. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set the odds equal to each other. So 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 63. So now if I add one on both sides, I get 2 to the power of k equals 63 plus 1 is 64. And what 2 to the power of what equals 64? 6. So k is equal to 6. So we know that m is equal to n plus k. So we already have the values for n and k. n is 5 and k is 6. Meaning m is equal to 5 plus 6, which is 11. So m is 11. So now we have our values for n and m.